a sneak peek at the upcoming VLOX 2. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with I Download Blog and I wanna talk about this right here. Of course, this is VLOX, VLOX 2 to be more specific. This is a preview build of VLOX 2. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this recently, so I thought I would give you a, a nice little sneak preview of some of the features that you can expect in the newest version of VLOX. Just give you some progress, uh, progress update. It is being currently worked on. It is still being worked on, and it, it is not out yet. And I don't know exactly when it will be out, but just know for a fact that it is being worked on pretty much every day. Um, there are new features included with VLOX 2, like this right here. Indeed, your eyes do not deceive you. VLOX 2 includes the ability to lock down VLOX views using Touch ID or passcode for that matter. So all you do is you just tap this here and then you can use your passcode or you can tap Touch ID and then just verify with Touch ID and that will unlock that particular view for you just like that. Now you can use that, that specific view. Uh, obviously the views will change depending on the applications used. So with that in mind, you can expect VLOX views like this. This is for Cydia, of course, and it shows you recently released jailbreak apps and tweaks uh, that you can tap on and get more info about. But of course, that isn't all. There are other applications that have VLOX views, like the Settings app, for instance, or I showed you iFile earlier. The Music app has a VLOX view. There you go. Um, other apps have VLOX views, Safari. Even the camera has a VLOX view. Maybe you remember this from the original VLOX. So there we go. There's the camera VLOX view. Uh, the, of course, the clock app has a VLOX view, so you can quickly enable or disable your alarm clocks. So you can see why this is really, really handy. Now, as you might imagine, there are lots of settings in VLOX 2's preferences. You have a kill switch at the top. You have a new auto close function, which will automatically close a VLOX view when necessary. You have, of course, the new Touch ID support, blink passcode view. You have dark mode you can enable. There's your activation method. Right now it's set to swiping up on the app icon. Uh, which is the most familiar activation method for VLOX. You have plugin preferences. There's only one preference there right now, and that's for weather, uh, but you can expect more there potentially. Then you also have VLOX view for apps. You can actually switch between notification view and VLOX views for apps that support both views. Most apps only support the notification view. And notification view is basically just uh, this right here that shows no new notifications. If I had notifications, it would allow me to view those notifications. Obviously, Reader does not have a specific VLOX view just yet. Hence, it defaults to just the notifications view. Um, and then last but not least, you have lock VLOX views. So if you want to security or to add security to specific VLOX views, if one view or one or more views are particularly sensitive, they contain sensitive information, then you can lock those out and of course use Touch ID to access them. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a brief overview of some of the things you can expect with VLOX 2. I'm interested to hear what you think of the features thus far. And there are other features that will be coming down the pipeline as well that I can't talk about right now. So let me know what you guys think about VLOX 2 down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.